For almost six decades, NASA's work has inspired millions and millions of Americans to imagine distant worlds and a better future right here on Earth. I'm delighted to sign this bill. It's been a long time since a bill like this has been signed, reaffirming our national commitment to the core mission of NASA, human space exploration, space science, and technology. With this legislation, we support NASA's scientists, engineers, astronauts, and their pursuit of discovery. We support jobs. It's about jobs, also. This bill calls for ongoing medical monitoring and treatment of our heroic astronauts for health conditions that result from their service. It's a pretty tough Job. I don't know, Ted, would you like to do it? I don't think I would. Uh, Marco, do you want to do it? Marco, I don't know. I'm not sure we want to do it. You could send Congress to space. Yeah. <laughs> what a great idea. That could be a great idea. <laughs> This bill will make sure that NASA's most important and effective programs are sustained. In orders NASA to continue, and it does, it orders just that, to continue transitioning activities to the commercial sector, where we have seen great progress. It's amazing what's going on. So many people and so many companies are so into exactly what NASA stands for. So the commercial and the private sector will get to use these facilities. And I hope they're going to be paying us a lot of money, but they're going to make great progress. It continues support for the commercial crew program, which will carry American astronauts into space from American soil once again. It's been a long time. It supports NASA's deep space exploration, including the Space Launch System and the Orion spacecraft. It advances space science by maintaining a balanced set of mission and activities to explore our solar system and the entire universe. And it ensures that through NASA's astronauts mm -hmm. and aeronautics research, the United States will remain a total leader in aviation. Now, uh, these astronauts are amazing. Uh, I've met some of them. They are very brave people, and they're right at the forefront. So we salute them with this legislation. And we salute the ones that have lost their lives doing what they love to do. America's space program has been a blessing to our people and to the entire world. Almost half a century ago, our brave astronauts first planted the American flag on the moon. That was a big moment in our history. Now, this nation is ready to be the first in space once again. Today, we're taking the initial steps toward a bold and bright new future for American space flight. I am honored to sign this new bill. The folks behind me have been so involved in it. They love NASA. They love everything it stands for, uh, and they love the people in their areas. You have a, a couple of areas that are going to be very benefit, very much benefited by this. So I just want to thank all of the people standing behind me. Uh, they've done a great service for the country and to their communities. It's a lot of jobs, and these are great jobs. So thank you very much, and we'll sign this. Pages. Look at the pages in here. That's a lot of <laughs> We don't want to let that slip. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you. thank you very much, Mr. President. Who else should get these, Mr. Lamar Vice Smith. President? Lamar. Lamar. Okay, I have two left. Who else? Mr. President, on behalf of NASA, I'd like to present you with this NASA astronaut flight jacket. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much. Does anybody have anything to say? Uh, Ted, you want to say something? 
Well, this is terrific. The first time in seven years we've had a NASA authorization bill. Thank you, Mr. President, for signing it. This means a great deal to the, pres to the nation's space exploration. It means a great deal to the state of Texas. And it continues America's leadership in space. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you, Teddy. Martha? I just think uh, I'm happy to see that Florida is going to continue to do more than Texas is in NASA. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good competition. Right, Kevin? Mr. Vice President? Mr. President? Okay, Senator? Uh, well, he's a Democrat. I wasn't going to let him stay. <laughs> 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 uh, it's a special man who loves NASA. Oh, no. He does love NASA. Uh, it puts us on the dual track. Uh, we have the commercial companies going to and from the International Space Station, and we have NASA going out and exploring the heavens, and we're going to Mars. Good. I love that. I love that. Just as, uh, Mr. President, if I may, yes. just as Americans remember that President Eisenhower was the father of the interstate highway system, with your bill signing today and your vision and leadership, future generations will remember that President Donald Trump was the father of the interplanetary highway system. Well, that sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> First, we want to fix our highways. We're going to fix our highways. Mr. President, we're going to fix our highways. Yes. As a uh, House subcommittee chair, I'd like to, uh, and actually part of the author of the uh, new Treat Act uh, for our astronauts, uh, that started in a meeting with uh, astronaut Scott Kelly after he got back from nearly a year in space. And I said, hey, what, what can we do for you in the House of Representatives? He said, take care of us. Make sure we, we, we're hanging on to this data so that future astronauts will be treated right and we'll know what to do and make the uh, proper adjustments for folks when they're up in the uh, up there in the ISS and on beyond. So I want to thank everybody here. I thank these astronauts uh, who put their lives on the line. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank Mike. You, thank you, thank you, I just want to. I want to, on behalf of uh, of the president, all of us. I want to thank all these members of Congress, these courageous astronauts, for their work on this. But to assure you that, in very short order, the president will be taking action to relaunch the National Space Council. He's asked me to share that, as vice presidents have right. in the past, and we're going to be bringing together the best and the brightest uh, in NASA and also in the private sector. We have elected a builder for president, and as he said, America once again is to start building and leading to the stars. So thank you. Mr. Thank president. you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.